Have you heard the rumors of a new state record for the Indiana smallmouth bass? Whoo! Let's talk about it. What's up, fishing fam? Welcome back to the channel. Today, wow, rumors have been flying around all last week about a possible new Indiana state record smallmouth bass from a place that nobody ever really expected it. Now, if you're brand new here, my name is JT. Welcome to the Fishing with Gramps YouTube channel. We do a lot of tips, tricks, reviews, how to's, and a whole lot of bass fishing. But today, is a very special day because the rumors have been certified true. Last week when the story started flying around on Facebook of a monster 8.3 pound smallmouth bass being caught, man, you just couldn't find any confirmation of it. The day went on, internet rumors were flying everywhere saying that DNR had done this and that and certified. But I actually messaged my good friend Dan Bortner, who's the director of the Department of Natural Resources here for the state of Indiana, and he couldn't confirm anything. But he had heard stories. Wired to Fish even put up a story having heard the same rumors of this monster smallmouth bass being caught here in Indiana. But again, nothing certified, nothing real. That is until today when the official 8.4 pound smallmouth bass was officially published on the Indiana State Record page. I quickly messaged my buddy Dan to see if he had any more details, but I was particularly interested in the length of the fish because of a lot of us kayak guys go by length. He didn't have an answer, but one of his guys did because they came back on the Indiana DNR Facebook page certifying that the length was a full 23 inches. Now, if you're a fan of the Achigan brand, the Smalley Talk crew, and you're a part of the Wet Boy Nation, the quest for 23 is something, wow, that a lot of people have spent their lifetime working to achieve. Indiana Smallmouth Hammer and Achigan brand co-owner and Smalley Talk podcast co-host, Josh Shranko has been a pursuit of one of these 23s, well, for as long as we know. And earlier this year, he set his new PB, a giant 22 and a quarter, five plus pounder up on one of the rivers up north. But to follow that up, to really kick off 2024, an 8.4 pound smallmouth bass measuring 23 inches was caught in the most unlikeliest of places. If you would ask me, I would have said somewhere way up north on the Tippy River, way up north on the White River, some, you know, way up north where those big river smallies live. Maybe even Patoka Lake, which is also known to host quite a few smallmouth bass and big ones to boot. This bass caught where I never would have expected a place that holds monster largemouth for the state of Indiana, Lake Monroe. Who's your angler? Rex Remington caught an eight pound, four ounce smolly on Monroe on March 3rd, smashing the previous record set in 1992 up at Twin Lake in LaGrange County by a full pound. The new record fish was released alive back into Monroe Lake. That is absolutely incredible. I have fished at Lake Monroe for forever. And I have only known of like two or three people that have ever caught smallmouth bass out of there, let alone a new state record. Never expected Monroe to produce a giant smolly like that. Now, there are a few reservoirs that have been associated with smollies, such as Brookville and Patoka, like we said before. But boy, I guess you can add Lake Monroe to that list now. This is going to be incredible and <laughs> going to cause an even bigger rush on that lake here before the boating season really gets started in the next few months. Drop me a comment down below. Would you ever have expected Monroe, of all places, to hold the state record for a smallmouth bass? I never, I never ever would have imagined it. I've known a few people have caught some there, mostly dinks. Actually reached out to Rex on Facebook and left him a message hoping to get him on a Gramps Live sometime in the future, but for now, all we can do is just sit back in awe and congratulate Rex on such an awesome catch and new Indiana state record. I can't even imagine what it's going to take to beat that 
going forward. I think this one's going to stand for quite some time. But you never know. We flood that lake with a bunch of smally anglers. Man, who knows what can happen? Really, who knows what can happen? What's the biggest smallmouth you've ever caught? Drop me a comment down below. Springtime's a-coming. We've officially fallen forward. We're getting more daylight. We're not getting more daylight. We got another hour at the end of the day to do a lot more fishing, and it's that time of year. Good luck, everybody, out there this season. If you like videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join us. Hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. And if you like videos like this, hit that thumbs up. It helps YouTube promote it to other people looking for videos like this. As always, get outside when you can and make some memories. One cast at a time. And I'm sure for Rex, that's going to be a cast that he'll never forget for the rest of his life.